All right, we're back. Oh, the hey. switch just fucking fall asleep. There we go. We're back. Uh, I tightened the little screw, so it should be good now. Sorry about that. Don't know if that messed with the audio for a couple minutes, but oh, well. it should be fine. Nice. Classy. I'm going to go on some missions. We back. We back. Right, let's see. Uh, tiny virus seed. Most of these ain't great. What do we already have? Sinister Wound, Silent Chasm. There's more Silent Chasm ones, right? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, there is. Okay. Time to go do more missions so the plot will keep Ooh. happening. I, I don't know. Like, I... I do like this kind of game structure, how you're allowed and kind of actively encouraged to fuck around between plot points as much as you want, because it makes it a lot easier to, um, prepare for, like, big dungeons and shit, but I do, I, I, I've seen some people say it kind of hurts, like, the pacing of, like, the, the plot, and I, I can see it. I can see it, but I don't agree, because it's, like... Not every game needs to be go, go, go on plot. Yeah. Especially because it's as much as you want to do. I mean, there's, um, there's, there's definitely, how do I put this? There is literally an amount of missions you have to do in order to make the plot move on, but it's not like, it's not like in like three houses or it's like between every single goddamn day it was like, go run around the monastery for 25 fucking minutes. Yeah. Because, like, that's, that's like, a similar kind of structure, at least in my mind, where it's, like, um, it's, like, fuck around and then get the plot going, you know? Mm. It's because people like to speedrun, yeah. I mean, like, having good pacing in a plot is definitely something you want. You definitely want your story to be well-paced, because if it's not, then it can be hard to be invested in it. Uh, but... It's, like, I feel like... This game actually has really good pacing, and it's nice to have the option to explore. Yeah. You and I play games very differently. I like to explore mm. and look around and, like, try to find yeah. secrets. Because I, I, I was raised on Zelda games, but you are more plot-driven. Well, I mean, I'm not saying I think it hurts it a ton, but I'm just saying I see where people are coming from. I think it works for this structure game, really. Say, uh, fuckhead. Yeah? Want to call it a day now? I can't get motivated. I'm fucking depressed. Okay. Wow, this is just like a real life conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry for wanting to go home before we're done, but I just can't get moving today. I guess it's because I heard that story. <laughs> and I'm going to go home and try to get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Honestly, I don't like people who complain about something that's completely optional because they don't have to do it. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. No it, context. I mean, it's not completely optional because you do have to do some missions before you move on with the plot, but I hear what you're saying. Jameson, ugh, I'm sorry. I started doubting you a little, Jameson. I'm not going to worry anymore. I believe in you. Even if you are a fuckhead, you're still my friend. You're invaluable, I guess. All right, let's do our best... And do it well tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs> well, that was ominous. All right, no context. What is this? Oh, I love this. Wait, hold on. I love this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just have that minimize all this. Hi there. Would you like to sign my petition? Look, chat. Holy shit! <laughs> that cat just fucking went for him. That cat woke up and chose violence. Me. Again. It's that dream again. I always see the silhouette. Who could it be? Get the loot emotes ready. Oh? It's saying something, but I can't quite make it out. It's clearer than it was before, but I'll try talking to it. Hello? Please tell me. You. Who are you? <laughs> no. No. I am. Gardevoir. Gardevoir. I'm so glad. Finally. I finally got to meet you. Huh? 
finally meet me. You knew me from before? What? What do you mean? I am your... your... <laughs> I need fire. Oh, wait, just a little longer. I'm going to force an asshole. What do you mean? <laughs> I want to know more. Oh, no, it's fading. Oh, God, I'm coming down. Wee woo, wee woo. Fire and forgive. What a strange dream. This dream I always have. It was clearer than before. I think I finally learned who that Pokemon was. That's it! Carnivore! It was Carnivore. Yesterday, Wishcash said. Yeah. I love this game, but I don't like how it rehashes it every time. It, admittedly, not as bad as it was in Explorers of Sky. Yeah. Like, it's definitely not as bad as in Explorers of Sky, but it's just like. Holy shit, the thing that happened two minutes ago, let's rewatch the entire scene. Yeah, I absolutely love Explorers of Sky, but Explorers of Sky does the flashbacks a lot more. Hey, Blue! How's it going, Blue? How are you, bud? You call that a strange dream? I scared myself in my last dream, and that's one of the better dreams I've had all week. I'm sorry, Missile. <laughs> Good morning! What? What's wrong, fuckhead? I didn't watch you last night. What fucking happened? I mean, what's the matter? You look pale. What do you mean I look pale? I'm covered in fur. Well, anyway, I was trying to do our best, huh? Oh, well, yeah. When I was on the way here, I think there was a commotion in Pokemon Square. I didn't stop to see what fucking happened. I didn't want to get any blood on my hands, but with oh. you, it'd be all right. Oh, shit, Let's right. go, fuckhead. I guess I shouldn't have grabbed all those missions. No. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm literally an Eevee. <laughs> I'm literally a fox dog cat thing. Ah, oh, what the fuck? The town's atmosphere is different. What the fuck's happened? Let's go look. Imagine an old gray Eevee like an old gray dog. Aww. That'd be sweet. Everybody's gathered in the middle. Let's go f look at it, fuckhead. Hey, what the fuck is up? So shiny Eevee. Yeah, kind of, actually. Huh. I'd call they frame you for murder, you worthless pile of fur. Let me tell you, I was truly amazed. It really was true. What was true? The Ninetales legend. I never believed the rumors, so you can bet I was shocked to learn the truth. Jameson, Shannon. Oh, hi, Caterpie. Y even you came out, huh? Yeah. Jeez! Caterpie! Give me down. What? Who's talking? <laughs> Excuse me. It's, uh... G Gengar! Get over here, you <laughs> motherfucker! Just, just two things. One, Gengar is the same size as Kangaskhan, and that's just wrong. And two, what do you mean who was talking? He's just standing there with nothing blocking your view. So I went up to the Hill of Ancients, and that's when I saw it. It was shocking stuff, I tell you. Blah, 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 blah. Shocking stuff? This certain Pokemon was getting advice from Zatu. That Pokemon looks like an ordinary Pokemon. But get this! It was actually a human! Why is Persian so small? He's malnourished. What? Um. I guess it's a human that tells you to a Pokemon. There's more! Zatu told the human. That's how the human be became a Pokemon has a lot to do with how the world's balance is upset. Wait a second. It's exactly like the Ninetales legend. <laughs> Don't be too shocked yet. There's more. You all know how there's been many natural disasters, right? According to Zatu, those disasters are caused by the world's balance being upset. Oh, King Kong's a snitch! Yeah. If the world's balance isn't restored soon, the unthinkable will happen to the world. That's what Zatu said. <laughs> what? The world? The unthinkable's gonna happen? What are we gonna do? The Gengar bastard. He's deliberately working everybody up. Now, now, people. There's no need to panic. Why, I think there's a way we can do something about this. <laughs> Snitches get dark type stitches. Let's kill him. <laughs> Blue also called me out for having a gay dar. Oof. Oof. It's like, this is like, Jesus, put a dick. If the world's balance is upset by a human becoming a Pokemon, 
But if that human's gone, everything should go back to normal, right? Th that's true. <laughs> and that human is the rotten coward that abandoned Gardevoir, right? I don't think that human could complain of it, about anything if we get rid of it. Isn't that right, Jameson? No, what? Well, it can't be. Y you You were that human? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is like... There's a, there's a good explanation for. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> The only god I believe it is R and Jesus. Jameson. Jameson. <laughs> Looks like you have nothing to say in your defense. <laughs> That's how it is, fellow Pokemon. I just justified murder. Now let's get rid of Jameson and regain this peace. <laughs> Everyone's gotten into you. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Jameson, run! Yeah, this is a Pokemon game, by the way, where a dude straight up convinces a town it's time to murder you. Like, yeah. like there's, like I know, I know they're not saying murder, but like there's nothing else it could mean. What a surprise! I didn't think things were gonna get so weird all of a sudden. <laughs> Jameson is fucking uh, dead. I thought we were about to be in some real trouble. But listen, <laughs> bud. <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you argue that it's not you? You should have said you're not the human that appeared in the Legend of Nine Tales. Hey, Shannon. <laughs> I'm getting murdered. <laughs> what? I'm so tired. You're, you're tired. What are you saying? Huh? You don't think you deserve to be on a rescue team? What the fuck is wrong with you? What makes you say that? That doesn't sound like you at all. Tell me, who fucked with you? Um, the entire town. Um, so you had a dream? And Gardevoir appeared in it. And that made you think maybe you were that human after all. So, that's what went down, I guess. Listen, Jameson. You didn't remember what you were like as a human being, did you? So you don't know what really happened. I... I still believe in you, fuckhead. So... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. After that scene in Pokemon Square, we held a town meeting. <laughs> it was a very short, very, very short meeting. Uh, what we must do to save the world. We arrived at a consensus. We must get rid of you. You're kidding! <laughs> okay, now you're fucked. <laughs> that was incredulous, too. I'd hope to not come to this spot. It is unfortunate. We will defeat you with all our might. We're, we're fighting here? Uh. We will give you tonight. What? Pack your supplies and get out of here. Cue tom come tomorrow, rescue teams of all sorts will take up the chase and attack you without hesitation. And not just you. Anyone that goes with Jameson will be considered an enemy. The trackers will attack without mercy. That goes for us too. We will join the hunt to be rid of you. Against all odds, you must run. Run and survive. You will run until you uncover the truth. Alakazam. Bro, no, show those spoons up your nose, dick. There will be no mercy the next time we meet. Farewell. I'll kick t -Tar's ass and Charizard. Uh, Jameson. Did you see? Alakazam's team has faith in you, too. Not enough faith to talk the town out of lynching me, but sure. I said this before, didn't I? I'm not gonna worry anymore. Whatever happens, I'm gonna have faith in you too, Jameson. Sorry, I'm just trying to act and make it sound like you're getting over crying. I, I wasn't looking at you, so I was like, wait, are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm good. Even if other rescue teams stalk us, I won't be scared. So, what are we supposed to do if you don't have faith in yourself? Jameson. <laughs> Caterpie. Yes, I made a promise, remember? We would make a rescue team base here. I would join your rescue team when I grew up. They don't give up. You're a hero to me. I believe in you too, Jameson. So what do you say? Alright, fine. I guess the plot can continue. Uh, that's the spirit. That's right, bitch. You're my bitch. 
That's what we expect from you, fuckhead. We'll have to leave for the time being, but we're gonna come back and we'll bring the truth with us. <sighs> God, that caterpillar. God, such don't a dick. forget the bread. The next dawn. All right, I missed a little bit of chat here. The entire town was to fuck you, not in a good way. That's true. Your biggest concern there is that purge, and even that is much. Stand your peace and wipe them out. Nah, dude, they got cackling on their side. We're fucked. Mm. Um, just go full U.S. <laughs> okay, I'm not reading that. Um, yeah, Charizard, dumb looking four times week to rock looking ass. You ready to leave? No. Okay. So, if any of you are unfamiliar with this game, uh, you get one last chance to go into Pokemon Square. Well, don't, you might be wondering how the fuck that works, but we'll see in a minute. We cannot bring any of our other teammates with us. It is just you and your partner for a good long while. So get your shit together. That's why I want to do some extra missions. Because I knew those were coming up. I, I This always fucks me up. I always think in between Zatu and this, you have one last chance to do missions. But you don't. Um, next morning, it's lynching time. So everyone's just asleep. Everyone sleeps in their fucking shop. And you can just interact with them as if they were awake. <laughs> Because, you know, even though they're trying to murder us, we're still the good guys, so we, uh... We don't just, we don't just steal all their shit. Due to a mix of anxiety, sleep, depression, even though you go to bed now, I'm very tired and very stable. Not even volatile, I just feel like I'm set on fire, just fizzle out. It's weird. This isn't right. Well, I'm try, and, sorry, get, try and get some rest, buddy. Sometimes a shower helps. Yeah. Even but... just standing under the water. I hate you, but I like your money. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I almost wish they did a thing where it's like, we make it seem more like the council was like tricked into it, like they had to, but all the shopkeepers believe in you, so they're like, just don't tell anyone. Well, the thing is, there is no council, it's just a sh it's just the town, you know. Like, I know Alex seems like a town meeting, but like, I made a joke like Whiskash was the one in charge, but I don't know if he is. Don't die, like, Missile, or I'll sell my other soul to Satan to get you out of hell. Just, oh. We appreciate you. I want you, Debbie, give me your money. The Council of Fuck Nuts. Very much, yeah. Alright, since we're not gonna have a third person with us. Alright. Uh, I'm not gonna need. I wanna save the max elixirs for a little later. I was stupid at this part, and I thought you couldn't go back into town. Well, you can't- uh, Oh, you didn't realize- Like, at first? Yeah, because uh, he stops and talks to you. Mm-hmm. So, that fucked me over for some of the dungeons. Oh, dear. Don't ask where that second soul came from. Well, I'm oh, a that, little curious. Oh, is that where mine went? <laughs> Store that, too. Let's take that for myself. Uh, let's see. Do plenty of those. Could use a, some blast seeds. Um. Protect orb help. We don't have any, we don't have a lot of good orbs. It's gotta be said. Um. It totally didn't have anything to do with the bodies on the walls. Oh dear. Red. Hello. So else. long as I get to work part time in hell, I heard they pay well and I wonder how hell's doing in the maintenance department. <laughs> Shit, forget I said that. Horb. Alright. Um, Hit the bodies in the walls. Now, Hit the bodies in the walls. I do recommend taking a bit of your money with you just in case you run into like some Kecleon shops. Just go like... Oh, no, it's the p son of a bitch. I'm dumb. Uh, 1,000... There we go. All right. Nothing happened. I'm not the reason there are several missing orphans. Kecleon, more like Cuckleon, got him. Oof. There we go. So that should be fine for right now. Uh, let me... Oh, I took two power bands on accident. Did not mean to do that. Sorry. You're fine. Store that one. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we can go. He's telling the truth. I was the reason. All right, well, time to go. Ready to go? Yeah, it's cool. It weirds me out how they left in the morning and not in the middle of the night. Got to rest up. Let's not tell our team members. We have to run from rescue teams stalking us, and we have to keep running because we can't afford to get caught. Yeah, so basically, it's just you and your partner. Which, in the original game, didn't matter too much because you had to use them for everything, but if you were taking advantage of just playing as other Pokemon a lot and you and your partner are, like, really underleveled, well... <laughs> K. 
Caterpie and Metapod too. Aw, and even Jumpluff. Oh god, we made it. Eli, I see you love Jameson. Me, me too. G good morning, it's me Diglett. I wanted to send you off too. Everyone. All four of those Pokemon are assholes. What do you mean? They're, they're just saying goodbye. It's a letter. Can you read it? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Send the guy without hands. Ah, uh, yes. While well, we're trying to run for being murdered, mail is more important. Take care. It's farewell, but only for now. Until the day I can deliver mail to you again, I'll always be waiting. The wandering postal carrier, Pelipper. Even Pelipper. Aw, oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll probably be waking up soon. You have to go. Hurry. Yeah. Jameson, let's go. Hit the road. Take care. Send the Caterpie. They can reach and open things for sure. For you to both for you to return. Yep. They, Thank oh, you. Sorry. We'll be back. That's for certain. Till then, take care. Caterpie's a dick. Metapause uses Jolly Rancher and Jumpluff can't even defeat a magic card. Oof. Useless Jolly Rancher. Well, thus began Jason's cruel and arduous journey as a fugitive over forbidding mountains. Aw, oh, aren't these fissures amazing? Yeah, it's time for sightseeing. Across fields of fire. Environment's out of control here, too. Forest fire's still raging. I don't think there's a forest left. Without all, Jameson's team kept their heads held high. Without a complaint, they marched on. That's me. Useless Jolly Ranch. It, me. When I got to this point in this game, I was like... Not really. I was like, oh my god! And I was crying and shit. <laughs> I wish we could get back to our rescue work, but sorry, I shouldn't complain. We have to get away now, period. This is more This is more, more so the Bible or Dante's Inferno, hard to tell. You literally had the rejects that got lost in the forest be like, we love you, but we can't help because we're rejects. Oof. <laughs> yeah. And we will wander into... Come on, Lapis Cave. So yeah, so you're basically just cut off from being able to get new supplies and new team members for all. Pretty much every Mystery Dungeon game has a moment like this. Um, but no, weird. I well, I mean, it's it's because it's like that's how you have to make it more difficult. You oh. know, it's like because you know you always have the option to just go back into town and get shitloads of more items. You know, mm. or grind out items with missions. Not very many games really made me go super what the fuck Monster Hunter 3, 3. This entire game, that entire game fucks you up. No, yeah, this, um, I, I just, I just think that's so. That's a deep storyline for, like. A Pokemon game. Yeah. Like, they're like, yeah, no, we're gonna murder you. Like, straight up. Oh, I just, my death perception just failed me on that one. Pokemon game that's kind of fucked. Oh, yeah. Because this was, like, before Pokemon started getting, like, just sort of weirdly dark and fucked up. Because that was kind of around, like, the Gen 5-ish times. They they kind of started making shit a little more fucked for the sake of it. You know? Mm. But no, they're straight up, like... Imagine little Jimmy getting lynched. Because <laughs> it's like, they're doing that whole, like kid thing of like they're not saying the word die or murder or whatever but it's like that's what it fucking is you know yeah even when i was a little kid i was like oh my god they're gonna fucking kill me like stick what do we got up there An orb. meanwhile kirby is lair with literal gods of death and shit yeah Oh. That's something else. Uh, the little, like, sparkly buried items, those weren't in the original either. Like, where you just dig in the floor and shit. <laughs> nice. Picked up nice. Nice. Fuck. Alright, well, it's dead. We're not saying killing you for legal reasons, but we're implying it, so you understand to leave or it's gonna be bad. Yeah, pretty much. I'm not saying I'm going to kill you, but you are definitely not going to be alive by the end of this exchange. Yeah. OK, 
Yeah, call the coppers. Hm. The coops. Now the cops are not on our side for this one. I love me a good, happy, fun game with holy shit, that is a giant eyeball bleeding out and we have to fucking blow it up as the final boss. Yeah, Kirby, Kirby 64 is a fun game. Petra Bear. But yeah, no, this was, um... It's to your right. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. I'm just debating if I want to grab that money. Yeah, I do. Um... Yeah, no, like, this definitely caught me off guard when I, uh, first played as a kid. Because, like, this game's plot isn't, like, super deep and intricate, but it's definitely, like, trying more than, like, the old-school Gen 3 Pokemon games did. Yeah. And I definitely really appreciate it, and it's, like, still just, like, oh, yeah, they're, the other Pokemon are just gonna go murder you. Like, that's so fucked. The description also works for Dreamline 2 and 3. That is true. That is very true. Hello. Who's there? You got a whole conga line. Yeah, right. Remember, I can walk on water. That is true, but Eevee can't follow you. Actually, you know, this is something I can kind of show. Zero Two Steam Sea Sports Banger, though. Very true. So, if I, as a water type, walk onto the water and I take up the same spot as my partner, they just get they just move out of the way. In the original game, you would swap places, so Eevee would end up on the water. Because Eevee is not a water type, the game would warp the other Pokemon to a random row in the dungeon and inflict confusion on them. That's weird. Yeah. Eevee Speen. Speen. I like the way they spin. Hello, you. I gotta say, fucking Shannon's moveset's pretty damn good. You got two moves that are across the room and a multi-hit. Mm. Meanwhile, all I have is, like, normal moves. Oof. Eevee, for a Pokemon whose whole gimmick is it evolves into one of, like, a bajillion Pokemon of all varying types, Eevee's move pool is kind of fucking garbage. Yeah. Rump. Oh, am I out of rocks? I think I'm out of rocks. You know, this series has been, you know, this series has been going pretty well as an MMO. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yes. Feel What's it. up, fuckers? Hey, Hi, Druid. wifey. How is work? What's going on, Druid? I hope you're doing okay. The point That's the point of Eevee's to evolve. Yeah, I get that, but still, you'd think they would, like, oh, fuck. just give I it didn't slightly play WoW at all today. Work We're, sucks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, friend. Tell me, tell me your troubles. I'm Va sorry, Va honey. Raid Va is much better. Kill the boss on the first bullet that's been giving us trouble for three weeks. Let's fucking go! Decent. Decent. Let me uh, drink these. There we go. The whole point of Vivi to be fluffy and cute and go, eh, go, eh, eh, boy. Eh, boy. Yeah, yeah boys. <laughs> Knife as many doors. Oh shit, poison. Okay, well, time to go. I'm pretty sure I have to work a split shift tomorrow. I don't know how streaming's gonna work. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Alright, well. Oh, that's not great. Uh. -uh. There we go. Cool. Now, Balapis Cave it ain't too bad. It's just, it's long. I think it's like 14 floors. Mm. I kind of want that. I wonder why they still have still wonder why they haven't made a normal type evolution. They probably, I don't know. There's, um, there's like this, like, fan theory thing that people subscribe to that, like, um, I'm putting, I'm getting rid of the box, so they're not even going to be able to open it forever, so. Um, that it's like, back in, you know, before Gen 4 and they did the physical special split, which is something they should have done a long time before fucking Gen 4. Uh, all the types were based off of uh, 
whether a move was physical or special based on its type, and all the EV types are special, and people are like, well, then you're not going to get, like, a fighting type EV because it's not a special type. But it's like, I don't think there's actually a pattern. I think it's just, like, they come up with some random evolution mechanic for EV, and they just stick it on a Pokemon. Mm. Like, I think it's just, and they come up with a design for a Pokemon. I think it's just coincidence, you know? Just make it cuter and fluffier, yeah. Facts. Normal type EV is just a ball. Fluff the talks. Just, just completely spherical. I'm still waiting for my fucking Dragon Eevee. Like, that's what I want more than anything. I want a Dragon Eevee. That would be cool. I don't know what it would look like. I don't know what you would name it. I don't know, like, what its stats or ability would look like. I don't even give a shit, though. I just want a fucking Dragon Eevee. Ooh. Let's just leave him alone. Wyvern? Yeah, there we go. That works. Fuck it. Or Draggy. Dragion. Dragion. <laughs> Pyreon. Like Pyro, fire. I mean, Pyreon. I mean, we already got Flareon. I guess so. My sibling would screech so hard the world would break in half. I want a ground type Eevee and a bug type. Well, a bug type would be cool. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Uh. Oh, my God. You actually hit it. All right, cool. I mean, I, I feel like eventually they're going to end up making, like, an Eevee for, like, every type. You know, it's, like, just a, a matter of how long will it take. Yeah. But it's, like, it's weird because they haven't made a new Eevee in quite some time. The last time we got a new Eevee, Eevee was Sylveon, Sylveon, and that was X and Y, you know? Yeah. Still holding out for Toxion. That'd be fucking cool. Fucking Poison Eevee. Uh, yeah. Just top that off. Oh, shit. It's just a tangle. You'll be fine. Yeah, but I didn't even realize I was walking right in front of an enemy. Was tempted to get my sibling in this Mega Constructs box set of every Eevee. Mega Constructs? Isn't that like... Those are like Legos, right? I love Eevee. That's sweet. Eevee's a fucking cool mon. Ooh, I... Lubby sent a link. What the hell? Pinterest. Oh, like fan-made Aww, Eevee illusions. Okay. That's awesome. Uh, let me look at an let me look at an actual fucking website. Imager, here we go. That ghost Eevee is vaguely depressing, but I kind of like it. Um. Wow, those are actually really cool. I really like them. I I. I don't know. I, I really do like Eevee. Oh, dear. Steel one is dope. Definitely didn't expect to be given Eevee for this playthrough, though. Yeah. Especially because you're an Eevee that's angry at the world. I mean, that's... Yeah. Yeah, they were originally called Mega Blocks, but they renamed them and started focusing on more adult collectible type sets. Oh, those are Mega Blocks. Okay, I didn't realize Mega Blocks like, changed their name. Gotcha, gotcha. Shut up, your mom buys your Mega Blocks instead of Legos. You take that back. Oof. It's actually true, though. Oh, yeah. Legos are fucking expensive, though. I, I wouldn't... I don't blame anybody for getting, like, knockoff Legos. Legos are fucking expensive. Yeah. They got some cool shit like a Halo. Oh, Min. I fuck with Lincoln Logs. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't fucking seen Lincoln Logs in forever. I loved Lincoln Logs when I was a kid. You know, you gotta get that cottage core aesthetic getting. Gotta get that early. Getting roasted up get early. Yeah. I was never I was never good at making shit with Legos. I, I made shit, but I always made basic shit like houses and like random like spaceship looking things. Like I never was good at making like intricate looking shit with Legos. I had this huge pirate ship set mm -hmm. for Christmas. And I made this big old pirate ship and there was like an alligator I had hidden below deck. Mm. Uh, for a torture tape chamber. Alright. <laughs> cool. For prisoners, you know. Yeah, of, of course. Like, yeah. I, you know, gotta have it. The only Lego set I have displayed is Back to the Future DeLorean I got a few years ago. It's like $200 now. What the fuck? Jesus. I've always wanted to go to, like, the Funko Pop store and get custom-made Funkos of you and me. 
You can do that? Yeah. It's like a customizable make your own Funko Pop in New York. It's probably really expensive though, isn't it? So, it'd be so fun. What's this? Oh, I love the bee. I was going to say, like, as much as I want a dragon Eevee, I think that bug Eevee is fucking cuter. I like that. It's adorable. You can buy customizable Funkos and do it yourself. Yeah, but if you trust me to, like, paint something, then it's going to look like shit. Like. I'd want to actually, like, physically go at, into the store and get it done. That'd be so fun. And you even get, like, the box and everything. I fucks with Funko. I like Funko Pops. I know there's a lot of I know a lot of people like like hate on Funko Pops, but like I I like them. I, I like that like I like that you can put them all on a shelf next to each other and they all you know look like they go together no matter what series they're from. You know. Yeah. And also like some 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 like see like TV shows and movies and games and shit just don't have good merchandise and like you kind of have to settle for the Funkos. You know. I have all of the Dark Crystal original Funko Pops, which the entire set is extremely rare. I have them all in their boxes and case protectors. Mm -hmm. And then I have all the Age of Resistant ones, including the ones that were at a Comic-Con that are no longer production. Mm -hmm. I have both of them. I just have, like, normal Funkos. Oh, hey, we're running from the law. You're Yay. damn right. Hey, Dusk. We have so many Funko Pops. We have, like, 15 different Deadpool Funkos. Decent. Nice. Facts. I got a fucking Lego Technic cargo plane. That sounds fucking cool, actually. And also, Funkos capture the uh, the emotion you get when you get a slightly fucked up uh, popsicle that's supposed to look like a character, you know, with the gumball eyes, and uh, mm -hmm. I, I love that, so. Yeah. I like Batman Funkos. Fuck it, I, I, I gotta get, like, a Batman Funko. We got a bunch of just, like, random ones. We got, like, we have, like, all the Steven Universe ones except for, like, Lapis, because Lapis is, like fucking $90 for some stupid reason. At least last time I checked a while ago. Yeah. I have the three Ninjago Lego dragons. My dad has a few Star Wars Lego sets. I forgot about Ninjago. Mm. Ninjago is fucking weird. I'm gonna just peek in here real quick and just, just grab these items real quick. Um, Is it worth... I only got because Durgan. Fair enough. Cover band? No, we don't need that. That is a respectable reason to buy anything, because Durgan. Oh! The flying boat thing from Ninjago? Oh, like an airship? Oh. I just have Hero Factory shit. Hero Factory? Because those were fucking dope. Hero? That sounds very vaguely familiar. Let me look it up. Thank you, Twitch. Very cool for crashing on me. Oh, shit. Well, we've, we're still being followed. Unfortunately, other Pokemon were able to make it through that 14th floor dungeon. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, these things. Oh, I miss Gengar selling you assholes out. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, they're like Bionicles. Yeah. Okay. Here, there's Bionicle 2.0, basically. Gotcha. A good friend of mine told me that, like, one of his favorite games when he was a kid was, like, some Bionicle GameCube game or something, and apparently it was, like, super good. We about to fight Groudon? No, no, that's, uh, later. I'm going to Mount Blaze. No one's going this far, but I don't go anywhere like that. Can't be helped. Only the brave will give chase. Darn it, where'd they go? They had to go this way. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> Bionicle heroes? What, I don't I don't remember if it was called Bionicle Heroes. I, it was Bionicle... I think it was a GameCube... It was either a GameCube game or, like, a PS2 game. And he said, apparently, like, those old-school Bionicle games are, like, super good. I, I know jack shit about Bionicle. I know Bionicle is, like, one of those things where, like, its story is a lot deeper than you would originally think it is. But, like, I, I've never seen or experienced anything to do with Bionicles. I had a few friends who had Bionicles, like, the play sets, but I never did myself. I had a Bionicle. I used to love the Bionicle movie. Fun fact, because I'm the ultimate in read the fucking manga in the manga, it stops at Groudon. Stops as in Groudon's like just the final boss, or stops as in like they just stopped bothering to print issues at like the last second? Bionicle was an edgy boy cartoon when I was growing up. Ah, gotcha. An edgy boy cartoon. 
basically. I always took my brother's binoculars and played with them. I remember spending my mom's money just to get the golden mask. He's basically just the final boss. Okay. Sorry, I'm fucking, like, trying to reach out and also, like, organize my items, so I might just You're be reading fine. shit weird. And sorry, I'm also just checking. I'm double-checking my schedule and everything for You're tomorrow. Good. And I'm, like, waiting for my paycheck stub to go through because it go it's supposed to come out in a couple of minutes, and I want to see how much I made. The Pokemon manga is so dark. Yeah, Dusk has told me some shit about the Pokemon manga, and holy fuck. Oh, shit. If I had infinite money, I'd collect Bionicle probably, but I only have room in my shelves for game shit, my game room, Transformers in my room. If you had infinite money, you could get a fucking giant storage shelf for your fucking Bionicles. Mm. Gengar gets redeemed there, so that's neat. Ah. Yeah, so tomorrow is my split shift. Gotcha. So I work 10 to 4 and then 6 to 9.30. Well, at least you get a nice break in between. At least you don't have to, like, go <sighs> anywhere. You know, you're at home. I know, but it's still annoying and it affects the stream schedule. Yeah, but I mean, so we just have to start a little later. It's not, bad. not a big deal. I'm just happy to do it. I mean, the Mystery Dungeon manga is ironically probably tamer than the game. There's a fucking twist for you. Yeah, we were just talking about that a little earlier, actually. How, like, it's kind of fucked at this game. It's just like, yeah, by the way, you're about to get murdered. Rip. Pokemon get full on melted and shit in the main manga. Yeah, I I've heard. I've heard horrible things. And I've, s I've seen, like, a couple of random panels, like, without context. Like, the one, um... The one where... What would the girl's name be? Leaf or Green or whatever? Just shoves Pokeballs in her bra for some odd strategy that I'm not 100% uh, sure why that had to be a thing. In Green. Yeah. I don't know if they- I didn't know if they called her Green or Leaf. How many floors does Mount Blaze? Oh, fuck. I don't remember. No one's gonna say shit about Zap Mulcuno, huh? Uh, no. I, I, no. I was gonna forget that happened. Um, yeah, I don't really need anything. Fuck Bionicle, give me these fuckers. She's green over here, but in Japan she's blue. Oh yeah, right. Understandable, have a nice day. I'm gonna say about as much as the manga did. It died. <laughs> he did. Yeah, so in the manga, some weird science bullshit happens, and Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres get fused together into one creature. What the fuck? Hold on, let me find a picture. I'll look at your thing in a minute, Dusk. Uh, oh, don't click that. Zap, Mol, Kuno. Ha. Uh... Yeah. Mm, that's just a thing i don't like it i don't i don't know i don't know how it happens or how they fix it but it, it's a I, thing i hate it actually it's not nearly as cool as it sounds Ooh, that's a cool looking fucker i like his big lego sword you play i'll get pick sorry I, I this game has an auto mode so i mean i can't just screw around and look for shit oh there we go there you go should probably find a better picture anyway Oh, and that's a Galarian version, but I like it anyway. Um, how about zombie Pokemon too? Yeah, that was also a thing, apparently. Dusk showed me some scans of that one. That was terrifying. It, and that's also the version of the manga where, like, the Elite Four is, like, evil and basically want to commit eco-terrorism, right? Like... What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. They're basically N before N. Uh, Swift? I mean, fuck it, I don't, I'm definitely not, I'm definitely not opposed to the idea of doing something more, like, adult with the concept, you know? Yeah. Because for God's sake, the anime is just going to be Ash forgetting how to be a Pokemon trainer every fucking season, so it's like, might as well do something cool with it. Yeah. It happens because all the badges do a thing in the container that Giovanni has. Oh, they're weird magic MacGuffins, okay. Twelve floors, okay, cool. Thank you, Lubbies. Thank you, Lubbies. Android for the picture. Yeah. And then they fix it by shooting it with three lasers from the starters. Oh, of course. <laughs> well, of course that's the solution. I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry. Yeah, just fucking shoot lasers at it. That'll help. What's that? Oh, wow, that's a really nice looking sprite, actually. 
Zap Mulkuno. Is that actually what they call it, or is it like it never had a name and that's what the fans came up with? Because Zap Mulkuno is kind of the lamest thing I've ever heard. And by lasers, I mean solar beam, hydro pump, and flamethrower. Oh, they got triple finished. Okay. Oh, yeah? Well, because that's what they call the final smash for Pokemon Trainer, and that's... I know, I was just being dirty. Oh, okay. Cause that's what I do, I don't have any other jokes. I wonder if that was an intentional reference to the manga, or if they were just like, nah, fuck it, it'll be cool. And they just sort of don't name it, but again, I try to forget it. Understandable. That thing is kind of a fucking nightmare. It is weird how often they go back to Pokemon just sort of fusing together. Yeah. You know, like, it's not a thing that happens often, but it's like, they did that in the manga, and then there's fucking... I mean, I guess you can count Slowbro with, like, the whole Slowpoke and Shelter thing, if you want to kind of stretch it. But then, you know, you have Curum, and then they did it again with, like, Necrozma, and it's like... <laughs> I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. <laughs> like, Gee, so you're giving them a lot of credit for Brawl Pokemon Trainer designs. Fair enough. They did it like three times. That's still enough to establish a pattern. That's what I'm saying. Fusing Pokemon pisses me off. That, that, that's still enough to establish like a very odd pattern. You know what I'm saying? Like, Okay, four if you count ne Necrozmia. How about one weird ass manga where the or manga where the trainers fuse with like the fucking essence of pokemon or some shit oh yeah that's... one's a fluke two's a coincidence three's a pattern yeah that's the reburst manga by the way i know what he's talking about i'm gonna show i'm just gonna set on auto so i can show you that uh because pokemon reburst they they literally combine with their pokemon and like wear them as armor so they become their pokemon stands Kind of. That's disgusting. I have a strange feeling it's not nearly as cool as it looks. Ew. But, like... That one was just... Okay. No. Yeah, Reaper's fucking weird. Concern. Uh... Habu? Glad to finally see another Pokemon Adventures reader. Yeah, Dusk, you have a friend. <laughs> I'm learning to hate Pokemon. Fucking same. Um... Cool. Do I oh yeah, you have Cloud Nine, so that means weather doesn't work. Huh. That's actually gonna make some shit a lot less annoying. How about that time Archie and Maxie shot a fucking laser out of their hand? Uh, you told me about that as well, and I still don't understand. Psyduck just don't give a fuck. Psyduck does not give a fuck. Yeah. Fuck your sunlight. It's almost like Psyduck is good or something. <laughs> Fucking better than Eevee. <laughs> Finna get side cooked. <laughs> I'm gonna get side cooked. What? Let's see. Do you work tomorrow? Yeah. What do you work? One to close. One to close. Yeah. So like, you know, a usual shift. All right. Why do you ask? I was just wondering. Just wondering if you're going to have to deal with me at all tomorrow. <laughs> well, no, I was wondering how I'm going to figure out dinner. Well, for tomorrow and shit. I'm off tomorrow. Lucky. I have to work a split shift tomorrow. So it's like 10.30 to 4. And then I'm back at like 5.30 or 6. If they don't make me... Or unless they make me stay on, which sometimes they try. So it's like... Well, that's when you tell them to get... 6 get, to 9. That's when you tell them to get fucked. Also, so it's like a regular shift and then off for two hours and they're like, haha, we want you for another three and a half hours. Also, Druid, I hope you actually get to keep your day off this time. <laughs> Yay. The only other series on level of rebirth in terms of, oh god, why, is something I don't want to curse anyone with the knowledge of, even if they don't care about what Transformers is. <laughs> I was so salty. I would be too. Is there like some sort of fucked up Transformers like comic I don't know about or something? No, yeah, dude, I don't blame you for being salty. I fucking, um... I I've told, like, other jobs to, like, go fuck themselves when they try to, like, schedule me on days that I have off or whatever. Like, I, I don't stand for it. Like, when I worked at Rite Aid, um... They would, um... They, they, have, they would have people come in at, like, 4 a.m., like, once a week on, like, Thursday or whatever, do, like, the stocking and shit. 
And I couldn't do that because I already had to walk a half an hour there for all my shifts anyway. And I wasn't about to do that at three in the morning on a fucking, you know, highway for $9 an hour. And during the interview, I told the, the lady, I was like, yeah, I can't do that. And, you know, she was like, oh, that's fine, whatever. And then she tried to schedule me, like, my first week to come in at fucking four in the morning. And I was like, I can't do that. And she was trying, I could tell she was trying to do, she was trying to, like, fucking strong arm me into it. Like, and guilt trip you. Yeah, she was hoping that I would be like, oh, God, please don't fire me. But I straight up looked at her and I was like, I can just leave. I told you four times I can't do it. So I'm not the asshole you are. And she never tried to schedule me again. She didn't like me. That was the worst job I ever had. I hope she's dead. Oh, my God. No, she's an asshole. Fuck her. I forgot y'all were streaming until Titan poked me. Hi, Cuppy. Hey, Cuppy. How's it going? Uh, sorry. I fucking just... The Pretenders thing? That's the only weird thing I know about. No, Pretenders is fine. Uh... I know some fucked up Transformers comics. I'll have to post them in the boob cast. Please don't. Was the time that crossed over with My Little Pony? I'm sorry. What? There, it's a manga? There's a Transformers manga? I just got paid. Lucky I'm waiting on my paycheck for the day after tomorrow. Decent. I'm trying to wait for tonight so I can see how much I'm at least getting. We don't want this. Nintendo, we don't want this. <laughs> Oof. There's multiple Transformers manga? Really? That's interesting. Huh. This is a specific one. Is that the one where uh, Starscream accidentally enters the body of, like, an 11-year-old girl or something? What the fuck? That's, that's I have goldfish crackers. Jameson. Mint! What kind? What kind? Probably regular. This is an important fucking question. What kind? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's that one. What? What? What was the plot of that? Like, why did that happen? Very that existed. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, Dusk. You're not the only one who's able to curse people with knowledge. <laughs> oh shit. The girl had cybernetics or some shit. Oh, just the classic cheddar crackers. Fucking decent. Nice. Snack that smiles back, goldfish. The snack that snackies back, snails. You know what? What, Dusk? What's what? You're stuck with it. I just, I'm gonna slap you with a fish. Please. What was that girl's name, Blue? Oh, no, don't. No, Blue, don't tell him. <laughs> I need to repay Jameson. No. Don't look up Transformers porn. Hello? I added a half and half pack of the extra cheddar and pretzel goldfish crackers. Oh, decent. That's awesome. So Starscream was able to take control of her because Starscream was basically a ghost by the end of the Gen 1 show. Oh, okay. He was like a... He was a Rotom. He fucking took over... He was an electric ghost and he took over some electronics and the girl had like a robot arm or some shit. Discord messages keep fucking taking over the typing thing. I'll do it myself then. No, don't. Yeah, so the reason I know that's a thing is because I used to watch a lot of Death Battle and they did an episode about Starscream and... Apparently, based on what I know, he took over this girl's body and he was, like, doing a good job at pretending he was a normal person until he went to the bathroom and forgot to pull his underwear back up because he was a robot and doesn't have to use the fucking bathroom, so he didn't understand that that was a thing. Mm. I don't know if the manga gets creepier than that, but that's mm. already a fr pretty iffy line to start on. Yeah. Shout out to them, Starscream is the leader of the Decepticon for all three seconds. He fought Rainbow Dash for reasons. Yeah, because they're both owned by Hasbro. It gets way fucking worse. It's so fucking weird. How does it get worse? I need to know how it gets worse, Blue. You have to you have to understand. This series is called Kiss Players. Oh, that's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. It's almost like Transformers at its core was always just a way to advertise fucking toys and then they tried to turn it into like a serious franchise and shit got kind of lost in the translation. Yeah. You will be scarred. I... I might... Uh, yeah, but like... It's like a car wreck, alright? I don't want to look, but I can't look away. No. Just Japan being Japan. Understandable. Is Transformers, like, really popular in Japan? Probably. Congrats, that means Goomba should fight Zant, because they're both owned by Nintendo. And my money's on Goomba. 
I've seen Tails do some unholy things. Some weird Transformer shit won't scare me. <laughs> I've seen Tails do some unholy shit. I like how Tails is where you draw the line. Yeah. Of course. It's not super popular. It's just like normal pop Actually, that's a... That's actually... Because I don't even know... Is Transformer still considered super popular here? Like... I'm not gonna act like Transformers is like a super niche series like a lot of people haven't heard of. Everyone's fucking heard of Transformers, but it's like every I found her name. Every time a person like or every time I ever, ever hear someone refer to Transformers, it's usually in the context of like, oh, I love the cartoons, but the movies can go fuck themselves. Mm. You know, it's like, well, how do you? I guess I guess I'm asking, how do you measure if it's still popular? I got Japan's only sexual cartoons. Like, yeah, I jerked off to that one. Like, yeah, I jerked off. Do you want to fight about it? I beat my meat to the school girl. I made titties. The fuck are you gonna do? <laughs> Calm down, son. It's just a drawing. Janice and I found her name. Dusk, you don't do it. Ah, goldfish crackers. Made with smiles. And also enriched with wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine. You're gonna have to finish Mono this. Mononitrate, cheddar cheese, vegetable oil, salt, yeast, sugar, autolyzed yeast extract. Paprika. Spices with somehow paprika doesn't fall under celery, onion powder, <laughs> monocalcium. Spices with paprika somehow doesn't fall under. Phosphate and baking soda. Well, Tails is fine. Just don't sit him on a bench. Don't ask. I'm confused. Don't ask. Just don't Her ask. Her name's Atari Hidanari. Four? Gross. Okay, well, I guess the new question is how much porn is there of Starscream? No. <clears throat> One second. Three hundred seventy-seven. Of course. Big oof. Too much. Too fucking much. Go oh, God, why? <laughs> Bro, there's porn of fighter planes. Yeah. Missile would be disappointing. Is that what... Wait, what does... What does Starscream... Trans, Starscream transforms into a plane, right? That's literally porn of a fighter plane. Right. Right? I don't know. You are asking the very wrong person. I know there's like one version of Megatron that transforms into a gun. Megatron! Mega titties! <laughs> yeah, I guess I never really did think about how lame of a name for a villain Megatron actually is. Yeah. <laughs> Megatron! My name is Megatron. Yeah, he's a jet. Big titty fighter planes. The original Megatron is a gun, yeah. Which I fucking love. That's so fucking hilarious. Just like, everyone else is like a truck or a plane or whatever, and he's just like, a gun. He's got a gun. Could he shoot himself? Doo -doo like, could he doo -doo. fire himself? Or did he need someone to grab him and use him like a gun? What? Soundwave is a tape deck. That is true. Is this it? This is Mount Blade Summit? White cheddar cheese its are better than most snacks. Say it louder in the back. Sad. I know oh, it's a volcano, go. but the lava flow is much higher than normal. I'm surprised we're not burning to death. <sighs> it's like a furnace. I'm getting absolutely baked. I don't want to spend any time in a place this dangerous. Let's get through this quick. Goldfish are better than cheese. It's damn right they are, Druid. Halt! Both of you are wrong. Whales are the best. Get out of my house. Ugh, oh, What? It suddenly turned dark. But it came most of the now. We're gonna try. Usually Starscream, the prison wants some dead Moses who aims and fires him. Instead of crushing him in his hand. Ha. Huh. I hear the mountain screams. And then there is Whale. He's shrieking in pain. See, I fuck with whales. Yeah, whales are fucking good. Eh. Whale crackers are not awful. They're they kind amazing. of are. They're greasy and bad. They're not. They're crunchy. We're innocent. Ah, we're just trying to make it out alive. Please. Yeah, I, I don't like whales. I love whales. I, I, I never had whales. Druid, imagine goldfish, but instead of being, like, salty, they're somehow greasy. They're not greasy. They they're are crunchy. greasy. Dude, they can be crunchy and greasy. The mountain's rage is my rage. I am Moltres, the warrior fire am I. There's no forgiving those who befoul the mountain. Unguard! Greasy craggers? Yeah, I don't know how they do it either. Sweet, greasy, and too salty. With... Well, it tastes like anything, yeah. They're definitely still have salt on them, but it's like with goldfish, it's like they have the salt texture on them. But, like, whales are just greasy. I didn't react strongly at how much Miss Atari uh, implies you don't remember what she looks like. For you, be, for you to be more creeped out, she reached four? Ah! Oh! No! Oh. Whales don't taste like cheese. No, whales taste like your cinnamon. No, they taste like cheese product. It's great. 
so great how Starscream Gen, Gen 1 loaded, finally gets rid of Megatron because Lita, big dumb uh, coronation. Two seconds later, Megatron comes back as Galvatron and just fucking disintegrates him. Starscream is not allowed to win. Beanie. That's just how it works. Beanie, beanie, bo beanie. Oh, okay. Oh, Shannon's dead. Is this a Switch game? It is. This is a this is a remake of the original Game Boy Advance slash DS Mystery Dungeon game. Very good. If you, I highly recommend it for all your Switch needs. That also looks like the amount of years old she is. Ugh. Sometimes I hate the internet. Okay. This guy kicked my ass. Yeah. Question, how does the cross game stuff work in this? Eh. Yeah, like I said, only sometimes it doesn't. Like, yeah, I most of it kind of just doesn't exist anymore. Actually, I don't think any of it really exists anymore. The only the only cross game thing really still is like that you can go rescue other players, but even then it works differently than it did in the original, I think. Yeah, that's lame. Yeah. Unfortunate, but it's just kind of a consequence of, uh, a, a consequence of how you have to port it, you know? So I've been talking with Titan and my life goal is to have every single N64 game that came out in the U.S. That's a good life goal. Yeah. Like I said, when I played this on Red Rescue Stat with Stun Seed, fall back behind the rock at the back of the map, yeet gravel rocks to win. Yeah. Yeah, the, this is this stretch of the game can definitely kick your ass if you don't uh, want to cheese it or stock up on Reviver Seeds. Ugh. I'm not done. I'm not finished yet. Wait, listen, please, for the love of Christ. We're not here to cause any trouble. We were chased to this mountain. And you should know, this mountain isn't the only place that's suffering. Natural calamities are happening in all sorts of different places. We can't do anything. We're fuckheads now. We want to help Pokemon in times of natural disasters. You ever seen him without his fire? He looks derp. He's just a rubber chicken without the fire. Do you say that sincerely? Yes, please believe me. If I'm a fugitive, I just told you, you were absolutely going to believe me. Look into my eyes. <laughs> oh, with Psyduck, this scene is just... <laughs> Look into my blank, unfeeling eyes. Mood. <laughs> this is so much funnier than it's supposed to be. I'm literally right. <laughs> Bro, I'm literally running for the fucking cops. What else do you want? Psyduck is the least trustworthy looking bastard. Psyduck, look into my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I trust that you aren't lying. Oh, thank Christ. I thought I was fucking roast duck. You may pass. Get through Mount Blaze. And promise me this. Promise me you will find the cause of the calamities that rack our world and my stop the My eyes, my special eyes, my brain. I'm sowing more destruction and suffering. Okay, I promise. Call 1-800-CONTACTS. We're not fucking sponsored, by the way. That's just the commercial. Thank you, Shannon. You're welcome. Of course, it's not possible right now, but, uh... Oh, shit, I said too much. Fuck! Ah, we'll do it, we'll do it as soon as we can. Please don't eat me. We're being chased, so we can't get on it right away. But we're a rescue team... I'll get to the bottom of what's causing natural calamities. I will hold you to that promise. You've made me believe you'll honor it. As long as you do not forget the courage you showed in facing me. Is there, is there anything else? No. I was only preparing to take off. Does it need to do that? Goodbye! Farewell! When you think about it, Eevee's eyes are the exact opposite of Psyduck's. Eevee's just a whole sea of black with a tiny white dot, and Psyduck's are a sea of white with a tiny black dot. Dusk, are any links safe with you? Probably not, but I'm gonna click it anyway. Not for work. I think I'm lying. Please look into my eyes. Oh, it's Cyndaquil. <laughs> That's fabulous. <laughs> Love it. Is it going to play some DX time to watch me? Hey, Divine, how's it going? Hey. Sadek is a guy who looks baked off his ass 24-7 and can obliterate everyone if he gets a migraine. I mean, that's just how it be. Got a dojo ticket. All right. Just got done grinding chestnuts for those monkeys. Oh, fuck that. Mankeys. It's so much worse than the original, too. Mmm, view's nice. 
Look, Jameson over there. Look how small it looks from here. Really come a long way, huh? You left the tea kettle on? Was annoying, but the crib is, dri is dripped out. Fuck yeah. You left the tea kettle on? It's you laughing. Oh. That's... <laughs> mm. <laughs> I love your laugh. It's great. <laughs> you guys are mean to me. No offense, but you kind of sound like a tea kettle in that clip. Mean. Oh Holy my lord, shit. what the fuck just happened? I looked away for two goddamn thank seconds. You. Holy Poppy, shit. Thank you for the seven <laughs> gifted subs. What the fuck? Thanks. Thank you. I looked away for like two seconds to watch myself get made fun of. She did it behind her back. Thank you. Holy shit. Jesus. Well, that happened. Fuck yeah. Thank you. Want to see something cursed? Always. Oh. I mean, that's not cursed. He's kind of cute. Hmm. <laughs> I am finally awake. Let's be positive and keep moving. I don't hear the sub sound, by the way. Yeah, sometimes it just doesn't work. I don't know. I'm sorry. You know what? It's probably best for your guys' ears if you don't hear it blasting seven times in a row. But no, Cuppy, fucking thanks. Holy shit. Like, jeez, appreciate you. Yeah, for some reason, sometimes the sub sound just da -da -da -da. doesn't go through. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Okay, I did it. I should get myself an enchilada. You should. You should always get yourself an enchilada, enchilada. If, you the, if you have the opportunity. Oh my god, Dust. I'm not reading that message. That's mean. <laughs> Don't make me smack you. <laughs> enchilada, good. Enchilada, definitely good. Dusk, you're so close to like nice. It's hilarious. And now it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Achoo! Although you are at your magic number. Yeah, but 64. That's entirely valid. Can I get no, that's not what I was saying! <laughs> that's not what I was saying at all! No. I already feel bad. I take your money. Damn. I love Absol! I bet you he would love head scratches. Yeah, I guess. I like how we have such prolific gifters that the subs go into randoms I've never seen before. Yeah. I, I appreciate you guys. I love all y'all. Stonks of all. Dusk! <laughs> I was just kidding! No! Dusk, thank you for the five gifted what? subs. I was just kidding! The music in this area is beautiful and makes me feel some type of way. I fully agree. Nice. <sighs> Yeah, who the fuck is this asshole typing now? <laughs> Wait a minute. Got the copy. <laughs> Thank you for the three more gifted subs, Thank Jesus you. Christ. <laughs> oh, God, it's pawning them all over again. <laughs> Yo, relax. <laughs> Divine, shut up. <laughs> I, I'm kidding, but I do appreciate you guys a lot. Yes. Y'all I appreciate it. I always feel kind of bad, but I appreciate it. Same. Because it helps us get more games. <laughs> yeah, literally. Most of that money goes right back into the fucking it streams. Literally, almost always. Or our bills when we were really broke. And food when we were really broke. But now it's only for games. Well, games, and, games and snacks. If you tend to want to still count some of it going to food. But this is when James's pupils turned to dollar signs. He was often never stopped streaming Pokemon games. <laughs> Listen to five. <laughs> How would y'all like it if I be just became a Nuzlocke streamer? Um... He has to wait until the count resets. It's not gonna reset because this is cumulative. Yeah, this is just forever. I mean, I would watch it. I mean, I'm not opposed to doing Nuzlocke at some point. It could yeah, be fun. me too. You guys would see me cry a lot, though. Yeah, because, I mean, every Pokemon game comes in twos. So it's like, we already did Leaf Green, so we could do, like, a Fire Red Nuzlocke. Or we uh, did... That'd be so fun. You know, we did, um... Well, I mean, we did Platinum, so we just do, like, another Platinum run for a Nuzlocke. But, like, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Holy shit! You want to guess how much money I got? Because it's less than I thought. I support the idea of XCOM, man. I would watch your nose locks. Fuck yeah, dude. We well, could suffer and do diamond. I mean, I could suffer and do diamond, but decent. It's less than I thought, though. Still getting those dollars, though. Mm. Um, did you say you needed to cut it a little earlier? Do you? I, yeah, because I have to go to bed to get up for tomorrow, which fucking sucks ass. Suffer and do green? Oh, God, no. 
randomize everything no dude i uh most of the nuzlocks i do are randomizers honestly just because i like uh i like not knowing what i like i like not knowing what's coming up ahead and having to just that's prepare literally for everything. the money i'm gonna have for the next two weeks once I, my bill comes out and i pay you back at least the bills will be taken care of i know of. but that's fucking stupid they're working me to the bone you might hop into a call for like a second on stream of course bud sure i'll hop right in uh what makes diamond harder than the others aside from the obvious pun i've set up uh it's slower it, it's not even necessarily that it's harder it's just it's slower so like because like the surfing is slower and just it's not as polished and also there's j the jack and shit for fire pokemon which would definitely make certain things more difficult but i mean there'd be, there'd be no guarantee we'd get a fire type anyway you like surfing not after diamond you won't all right thank you all for coming by it was fun green just held together with duct tape and shit <laughs> did you pick infernape no then i hope you like fucking ponyta all right <clears throat> thank you to cuppy for the total 10 gifted subs Holy shit. thank you to dusk for the five subs thank you to plenty of zach for the raid slash host uh appreciate y'all Y'all are insane and i love y'all down to pearl is a good way to build a team without fire pokemon yeah and then they made a fire type elite four i don't know why they keep doing shit like that uh, thank you all for coming by. It was a good time. Uh, we will see you tomorrow, probably. Maybe. It's going to depend on my split shift and how that goes. But either way... I'm either going to end up working 11 and a half hours, or I'm going to have my actual shift, but they're probably going to try and work me tomorrow. Yeah. But yeah, keep your eyes on the uh, Discord for updates and all that shit. Flint really great at his choice of home, 100%. That's what he gets for abandoning Brock's family. Uh, thank you all for coming by. It was a good time. And, uh... Made a firely form pretend lot. It was Lopany, Driftblim, and Steelix. Steelix is like fine. Driftblim, I get it, but like Lopany. Good luck. I feel those shifts. Yeah, with tax season. Whew. Yeah. That's a lot. Mm. I, and I'm kind of mad because I thought I was gonna get more money, but whatever. Lopany, because she's hot. I guess a joke there somewhere. I heard someone say it was supposed to be a joke about like cooking rabbits. Oh like, my. like, like Steelix is the flint to make the fire to cook the rabbit. That's fucked up. But like, I don't know. Dr yeah, Driffling is out. That's how blimps work. And Steelix is a fire type. Or Steelix is a steel type. And you use fire to make metal and mm. shit. I don't, I don't fucking know. All right, I gotta go before I keep rambling and keep Shannon up for even longer. I'm sorry. Y'all have a good night. We'll see you later. Dusk, I will hop into Discord in a few moments. Yee. Good night, everybody. Night. Thank you again.